Yo, Tim here, welcome back to another Decamp Boutique video. Today we have the original Spice Bomb by Victor and Ralph. We reviewed the extreme version last month, which was more of a fall and wintertime fragrance. This one is also a fall and wintertime fragrance, but with the new formulation of this one, it does smell weaker, so it fits more the springtime now. Spring and summertime wear also now works with Spice Bomb Extreme. So that's why we are reviewing it in kind of the beginning of spring. So before we jump into the actual smell of this fragrance, let's look at the notes on Frequentica. We have top notes of bergamot, grapefruit, pink pepper, and elemi, mid notes of saffron, cinnamon, and paprika, base notes of vetiver, tobacco, and leather. Now this one, the strongest notes that's in this fragrance is gonna be the cinnamon. You get a very, very strong, spicy cinnamon vibe. It really is spice bomb. It smells extremely spicy. The cinnamon adds the warmth and very just gourmandish kind of nature in the back, just a little bit. Not so much so like the extreme version that comes up. Very, very gourmandish at times. This one, not so gourmandish, more toned down, more heavy on the spices, and more focused on the tobacco note so the tobacco in here plays with the spices really well to create this just very masculine spicy fresh fragrance that just works for any man now who do I recommend this one to I recommend this one to someone who's a little more extroverted who likes to go to parties who has more of a edgy personality you maybe you wear a black t-shirt maybe you wear like black pants those kind of style choice or personalities will fit this one a lot more because it's not an uber fresh fragrance it's not a shower gel like fragrance that anyone could wear. This one does take a little bit of a personality that fits this fragrance to pull off well. So like I said again, if you have a little bit more of an edgy, extroverted personality, you like to go to clubs a lot, to bars a lot, this one I recommend to you. Next we have the performance of this fragrance and this used to be quite a beast mode fragrance but sadly with new formulation it's no longer the case. This one to me now only lasts around five to six hours. It used to last eight plus hours. Five to six hours is not bad, but it's a far cry from what it used to be. Projection now is also a little bit softer, which makes it more perfect for the springtime and summertime now. Summer nighttime, I should clarify. But you know, it's not as beast mode as the original, original formulation anymore. So quite sad in terms of performance but it does make it a little bit more versatile so i guess it's a good trade-off next we have the versatility and like i said this is a fall and winter fragrance usually but now it can work definitely in the spring and summer night times in terms of occasion this one is best fit for bars and nights out and any time at all we just want to have fun want to be a little bit more extroverted want to be a little bit more edgy this one best fit for those occasions not for the office time maybe for a daytime daytime also works nicely kind of scary sometimes for daytime because it does come off very like confident very extrovert so you do have to rock it with confidence to pull it off on a date most times that you're going to wear this i would say bars and clubs work the best next we have the common getting potential now this one is a very high common getting potential as well i would say the original formulation is a tier this one with the lacking in performance is now in b tier sadly it dropped down to b tier from my personal opinion it's just it doesn't project quite as well as the original it doesn't quite last as long as the original and it doesn't quite have the punch anymore the reformulation really killed a few things in this one that makes it a b tier but still it's a very very nice fragrance for getting compliments anyway so you're not really going to have a complaint b tier is still very good in terms of getting compliments it's just not it's not extremely good like a or s tier but b tier is nice so you have no complaints really in regards to getting compliments is you know it's just it's just sad to think about because the original is just so good this one is just uh, reformulation ruins everything next we have the price here and a 50 ml now of this fragrance goes for around 56 dollars 100 ml goes for around ridiculously expensive 90 dollars but that's spice bomb for you that is spice bomb spice bomb spice bomb extreme spice bomb fresh they're all the same in price and they're just expensive they're not they're not really discounted anywhere at all and that's just spice bomb to you is expensive and for me at this current formulation is it worth it i would say no i would go for spice bomb extreme you're going to spend that kind of money much much more worth it at that price for spice bomb extreme is a phenomenal fragrance this one is just it's too expensive now for a scent like this one but if you do still want to try it and you don't want to spend too much money we are at decantboutique.com you're on the decant boutique channel we're a decant store so yeah i'll leave a link down in the description below you guys can check us out we have samples of this one and the extreme version and a lot of other fragrances out there so if this is the first time you're watching us please go check out decantboutique.com 
get some nice cheap samples. All right, guys, that's it for this video today. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Peace and bye.